How's it going, guys? We have a medium difficulty question. Repro Biochem, step one. 28 year old woman. The fuck am I saying? 28 year old dude. One year inability to conceive with his wife. She has two children from a prior partner. He has a history of sp sporadic bacterial pneumonias, treated successfully with antibiotics, non smoker, non drinker. BMI 25, vitals normal, chest x ray is shown. What's most likely to be seen as patient now? OMG, the. Heart is on the opposite side, isn't it? This is dextrocardia here. Some of you look at this chest x-ray, you didn't even fucking notice that. You're like, oh, yeah, I guess you're right. The heart is on the wrong side, all right? So obviously left side of the image is going to be the right side of the patient. So the cardiac silhouette should be inverted here. So we have dextrocardia, and I could argue this is past level, but we'll just we'll go with medium difficulty, all right? What's most likely to be seen? Should I say congenital bilateral absence, fast deferens, wrong fucking answer. You can see this in cystic fibrosis. This is not cystic fibrosis. So recurrent pulmonary infections in a patient who has absent sperm in the sample, that's CF. Okay, so patients don't even have to have the condition. They can be carrier, male patients can be carriers for a CF mutation and have absent sperm in a sample. And that's, that's CBAVD, congenital bilateral absence of vast difference. For whatever reason, it's a, it can be seen in the condition, okay? Carriers as well as those with overt CF. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, cytoskeletal motor protein dysfunction. Correct answer. Very nebulous, abstruse sounding answer choice, but we can easily eliminate to get there. Diagnosis is Cartagener syndrome, where the vignette might sound like CF. You get a patient who has recurrent pulmonary infections, but they give you dextrocardia, or they can give you full blown situs inversus. They can say there's a large mass palpated uh, beneath the ribs on the left side, implying the liver edge is palpable on the left. It should be on the right side of the patient. Okay, so, or the, they'll just tell you in the vignette the heart sounds are loudest on the right where they can just show you the chest x-ray here. So in Cartagena syndrome, AKA primary ciliary dyskinesia, you need to know that a cilium is composed of nine by two arrangement of microtubules. So dining arm defect, they can give you the same question here. And then the answer is just dining. I've made clips on that. Okay. It's a lot of, it is a lot of past level stuff to be honest, but there will be sperm present in a sample. They're just going to have decreased motility because you need cilia for sperm to function properly. Whereas in cystic fibrosis, you'll have absent sperm. If you get cartagener in a female, you can get an increased risk of ectopic pregnancies because of poor cilia function within the fallopian tubes. Okay. So Primary ciliary dyskinesia, dining arm defect. It's a cytoskeletal motor protein. Let's just hop through the other answer choices. Choice C, decreased standard binding protein, wrong fucking answer, just miscellaneous. Could refer to conditions where you have primary hypogonadism. Maybe Kleinfelter, okay, make an argument for standard binding protein. Secreted by Sertoli cells. So you get dysgenesis of the seminiferous tubules in Kleinfelter syndrome, but in general, just if you had infertility with primary hypogonadism, choice C could be a potential answer. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, increased FSH, wrong fucking answer, sort of paired with choice C, patients with primary hypogonadism, you'd have decreased androgens as well as decreased inhibin, and you'd have decreased negative feedback as a result at the hypothalamus anterior pituitary, GnRH goes up, LH and FSH both go up. But US simile in particular likes high FSH as one of the diagnostic tools for primary hypogonadism. Okay, so you could, for example, Turner syndrome, Kleinfelter pathologically, but even physiologically menopause, they'll say high FSH is the answer. High LH could be seen as well, but in terms of clinical measurements, it's high FSH that they notably look at and very easy and passable for USMLA. Choice D, 
Wrong fucking answer. Tracy, misfolded proteins question RER wrong fucking answer for a cystic fibrosis. If you knew your biochem really well, your mechanisms, pathophys, you could eliminate CF just based on A and E being the same condition. It'd be pretty strange, truthfully, if your knowledge base were good enough to know A and E are both cystic fibrosis, but you didn't know Cartagena syndrome was this basic vignette here. So the chloride channel that you have in cystic fibrosis is normally located at the cell surface, but in the actual condition CF, the channel doesn't make its way to the cell surface, it gets sequestered within the RER. If they ask you what you see on electron microscopy, a wrong answer might be misfolded channel on the cell surface. The student's like, well, why is that wrong? Well, it's because it doesn't make it to the cell surface in CF. It gets sequestered in the RER. Okay, or for cystic fibrosis questions, they can have uh, abnormal receptor at the cell surface as an answer, and that's also wrong because CFTR is not a receptor, it's a channel. So you have to be on the lookout for these molecular biology type of answers for CF. Choice C, wrong fucking answer. You know the deal when you make more content, I'm going to stop screaming. Appreciate your time. That's a 